Hey, welcome to Animated Times. My name is Evan, aka Uncle Creepy, aka Douchebag with the Mustache, and aka Stinky Whistle Tea. I'll teach your grandmother how to suck eggs. And uh, today we're going to be discussing Black Panther. What is going to be next for the Black Panther franchise? How do we move forward after the tragic loss of the fantastic actor Chadwick Boseman? So we'll be discussing that today. I will be sharing, you know, my two cents. Um, Know, how to properly move forward and um, you know hopefully you know honor the legacy of Chadwick and give the Marvel fans you know include myself you know something that we want and good stuff and how to improve from the uh, first movie so let's get started number one the most popular opinion is having Shuri being the next Black Panther don't take the mantle off her brother I think that will be a fantastic idea give us you know the best of both worlds we get a badass you know uh, royalty of the family you know, but we also get something that's incredibly uh, uh, tech savvy, you know, it, similar to Tony Stark, if not more. So I think that'll be really badass and has also comic book accurate. And she actually makes a great Black Panther in the comics, and I think fans will be pleased. And she has an awesome sense of humor. I'm all for sure being the next Black Panther. So what do you guys think? Number two, this is another very popular opinion. I'm not sure if I'm 100% on board about this, but Killmonger. Killmonger is definitely, you know, expressed a lot online among other Marvel fans, you know, saying, hey, you know, let the bad guy have redemption, do all that good stuff. And in my opinion, I'm like, screw you. <laughs> no way, dude. I'm not I, I'm not on board with Killmonger being Black Panther. Number third option for me, I would just make a new character. Just make it just make it entirely a new fictional character. Um it doesn't even have to be royalty. I think it would be interesting and I, I do know it would shake up the lore of Black Panther because the majority of all the Black Panthers are all part of the same lineage. Um, probably besides White Wolf, which which we'll get into later. But I think that'd be awesome. Have a you know an unknown actor, a very talented actor, uh, and create an entirely new character that belongs to Wakanda that takes up the mantle. You know, a rags to riches kind of story. Um, something where it's a common man stepping up to the table and taking on so much responsibility. So I think that'll be a fantastic move. You can just, you can have so much fun with it, create a new character, and you and also you don't have to worry about whether or not the character is conflict accurate or not. Because that's what you will run into if it's Killmonger or Shuri, or like I said, a White Wolf, which we'll get into next. Number four, I'm all for it. I don't know if the woke community is going to be for it because Wakanda is a fictional African city, and White Wolf is a white dude. He's a white character. Very cool, I think, the idea of adopted child of the Wakandan family, but I don't, they're not going to get the adopted thing. They might make Bucky, you know, be White Wolf, which would be cool. I think that'd be awesome. But I feel like probably for what's going on in the world today and just for the culture in general, I think probably a best bet, the Black Panther style, and not kind of steer off. And maybe they could be like a White Wolf movie one day, or maybe like a series or maybe a few episodes within a Wakandan uh, TV show. Number five, Man-Ape. A lot of people don't like saying that name. I'm calling him Man-Ape. Man-Ape is a great uh, option. It would definitely be different. And I think if you do want a character that is a villain and has a redemption story, a redemption story arc, Man-Ape's your best bet because he did show redemption. He did have like a little amount of a uh, character arc in a way. He, he was charming. It was pretty cool. Now, he would be a very a large and intimidating Black Panther in that suit. Uh, but I, I'm all for it. I think that'd be really cool to shake things up. But I'm also for him just being man -hating. To wrap this all up, what I want to discuss with all of you are some of my two cents. I want to give my two cents of, you know, how can we make Black Panther 2 better? How can we improve from the first movie? So here it goes. Better CGI. That's an absolute. That's something I cannot stress enough. I feel like we had like PS2 graphics. I don't know, when they're finding those mines and you just see like just rubber toys, it legit reminded me of like uh, the Spider-Man PS2 game graphics or reminded me of taking my action figures, just throwing them around while they're falling. Not a fan of it, didn't care for it. We can go a totally different direction with that. So I think we should definitely up the CGI, put more practical effects. Number two, one thing I would love to see, to be honest, more focus on the hero, on Black Panther. I feel like we didn't get enough focus on our main character in the first movie. 
I feel like everything was banked on uh, Michael B. Jordan's performance. Everything was banked on uh, Killmonger. And I think that's what we talk about a whole lot more in the Black Panther movie. It's called Black Panther. This was supposed to be it's his first movie. It's his own movie. And I feel like I didn't get a sense of Black Panther here, really. Number three, brutality. Show Black Panther being a vicious character. He's a diplomat, he's a king, but the thing is, he is a character, he's not Batman. He's a character that will muck you up. If he has to, he will break your neck, he will slice you up, he will rip you apart. And I would love to see that, that brutality of Black Panther more. So I would love to see better action scenes. I would love to see him really cross that line. I don't want him just kicking bad guys into the door of a truck. They're knocked out. Like I'm really trying to see him get a little brutal. Because he does. He gets really brutal in the comics. Last but not least, one thing I would like to see in the second movie is pacing. Take your time, baby. Relax. I feel like the other one was too... Just push, just, just rushing, pushing things, you know, forward and, and not letting the audience breathe a little bit. I felt like, you know, when they wrote, made the first movie, they made a checklist. So we got this, we got that, we got that. And took all these things threw it in such a small space. So let's try to take our time a little bit with the second movie and you know explore you know the universe of Black Panther more. Also, can we get a Black Panther with the cape, please? That's all I want. Add the cape if we're good, like the short cape that you had uh, when you met the Fantastic Four. Uh, tell me what you guys think and leave a comment below, give us a like, follow us, and stay tuned for our next video. Alright, have a good day guys.